Hi, welcome to the first lesson of the course. This is the first of many lessons because, as you know, this will be a really long course uh, because I'm going to teach you about everything of After Effects, the interface, the basics, the intermediate and the advanced stuff of After Effects. So, as it is a long course, I decided to divide the course into sections and this is the first section where I'm going to teach you about the very basics of After Effects. For example, the interface, how to work with compositions, keyframes and so many other things that I'm going to use, uh, that we're going to take advantage of these things to create so at least simple animations and simple stuff. So it's really important that you know all the very basics of After Effects. So, in this first lesson I'm going to teach you about the interface of After Effects. As you can see, the interface is not so complicated once you get to know it. As you know, After Effects is from Adobe as well as Illustrator and Photoshop, so the interface doesn't look quite like Photoshop or Illustrator, but you can see some stuff like for example the icons, you can see that they are the same as Photoshop and Illustrator, so you can feel a little comfortable with this if you have previously worked with Illustrator and Photoshop, you can see some familiar faces right here on the interface. The interface is really simple, on the top you have the toolbar where you have the selection tool that you may know from uh, from Photoshop and Illustrator you got the hand tool which you can use to take a look at stuff on the composition you have the zoom tool you have the rotation tool the camera the pan behind you have the shapes tool the pen the type tool and many other tools that of course we are going to take a look further on the course. On these parts you have what they are called the panels. You can see we have a lot of tabs here and every tab has some something different to offer. For example here on the left we have the project panel where everything goes. This is like a library for all the stuff that we are going to use. For, for example we are going to create an animation. Here is where all the files that we will need are going to be. For example, if you click here, right click here, you get this menu where you can create a new folder and call it, I don't know, materials. And you can arrange everything as you please. You can get the order that you want. For example, if I import one file, I'm going to import this animation. This is an animation for another course. I'm just going to take it as an example. You can see that I have the animation, the, this this movie file. I had it here on the project. It's still not on the composition, but just on these folders. And on the top, you have the name of the file. You have the size of the file you can see how long it is the file and what kind of frame for a second has and the, the quality of colors and the compression you can see everything here on the project panel so this is a really awesome tool because you can organize everything you can arrange everything and if you are if you keep everything organized you will b work so much better on the animation or whatever you are doing here on After Effects. Here in the middle we have probably the most important panel of all which is the composition panel which we are going to talk about on the next lesson but for example if you throw this animation into this this is like the canvas on Photoshop or Illustrator this is where everything happens where we see our project as it is and you can see that I I threw this animation file here on the composition and now we have another thing here on the project which is a composition. This little icon means that this is a composition. So you can see that I now have this file and this is where everything happens. This is where we are going to see the animation on every object that we are working with. Here on the bottom we have the timeline panel which is of course 
so much important as the composition because this is where we're going to create the effects the the all the animation as per se and you can see that when I threw this animation file into the composition panel you created a, an, a layer on the timeline and on the left part you have the, the animation the file name and you have many other things that of course we're going to take a look at and you can see also that we have on the right side we have the timeline which you can find you can move everything you can go to at a certain point for example the the second egg you have you can see this part of the animation and you can create anything of course you can create as many layers as you want here the the, the idea is that you throw other other things into the timeline and you can create a nice animation here but don't worry we are going to talk a lot more of every panel here or further on the course here next to the project panel we have the effect controls panel which for example if I create an effect let's create a simple effect for example a hue saturation effect you can see that on this panel we're going to have the all the attributes for this effect so this is what this panel does let's remove this and then on the right side we have many other panels and these panels can be customized for example here we have the info panel where you can find all the info of course of the composition itself we have the audio we have the preview panel which is really important because uh, as the name says it's a preview if you hit the play button here you can see how the animation is looking here we have the effects and presets panel which is really important also because as on this part you can see all the effects that you can apply to the composition you can see that you have all the effects the blur and sharpen you have the control the color correction the expression controls and everything and if you go to the window tab here on the top you can see that you have another options here for the window for example the align panel you can see how it, this looks it is you probably know this guy from Photoshop and Illustrator and you have other windows which you, of course you can take a look whenever you want we are going to work with some of this but this is just a matter of what you are going to work with for example you have here on the top you have the workspace option that you have on Illustrator and Photoshop also which you can find you can select what kind of layout you want I always select the standard in fact if you hit reset standard you can see how it looks like this but you can select every other things for example animation and the After Effects where is going to open all the panels that he thinks that you can use for animations but you're not going to necessarily use air these windows for example but this is what After Effects thinks that you may probably use on when working on an animation I always use the standard because it has everything that I want and I can customize as I want finally on the top you have all the normal stuff that every other software has the file tab, the edit, composition, layer, animation and all other things that of course we're going to talk about everything else deeply more on the course but right now all I wanted to show you is the interface because when we are starting to learn a software it's very common that we get scared when we see the interface we are going to we are going to feel like whoa I don't understand anything I don't understand what these are uh, and it's very easy to get scared of the software so all I want here on this lesson is that you lose this fear of the after of after effects 
you can see that the interface is really simple of course it it doesn't look quite like Photoshop or Illustrator which are really friendly interface but as you can see there's not much going on here on the interface of After Effects once you get to create some animations on some stuff on After Effects you are going to be very comfortable with this interface so that's it for the first lesson as I told you before this will be a long course so get ready to learn a lot of After Effects this is really a nice software I love this software and it's, it can be used for anything and for so many wonderful things so I hope that you are excited to learn it as I am excited to teach you about this wonderful software so that's it for this first lesson now let's go to the second lesson of the course